Welcome to Button Mash Theater. My name is Heather, and this is going to be yet another episode of uh, 2064 Read Only Memories. Um, and we're gonna head to the police station. It was just added to our map. Um, this is it. Go. The Neo San Francisco Police Station uh, for the Richmond District. It has all the charm of, well, any other old police department. So, I guess not a lot, huh? <clears throat> um... Uh, I guess I gotta talk to the, the ROM here. But show, show my ID. Okay. Oh, talk. Oh, there's talk. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, Citizen Heather. How may I be of assistance today? I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell her it's Heather. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you so much for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, but she has given her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. Okay. <laughs> she is working on an... In investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nah. Nah, that's... That's okay. I'd rather get any of that information from her. <clears throat> so we'll just go to the... park here. Go park. Uh... The water run. Oh, this- this is her. Hey, Lexi! Hey there! <clears throat> Long time. Yeah, a long time no see. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. Oh, that sucks. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know. He's fine. What's with the Froyo stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Oh, okay. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. Yeah, here are the people smashing Froyo stands. I guess. It's I mean, just a bunch they're of kids not necessarily incompatible, the but the circumstances vandalism. for that would have to be pretty specific, yeah, for, for both of those labels, for both of those things to apply to the same person, you know? Like, cause Froyo's stand is so small, it couldn't be like, a casualty of really hardly anything. Yeah, you know, like, what are you doing? Probably. But the brass said to take it seriously. Probably just a bunch so of kids. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I. Okay. I guess if you have to amuse them, sure. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on, or actual criminals to be hunting down <laughs> or anything. Oh, of course not. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Uh, why did you move anyway then? I transferred because the credits were good. I thought <coughs> being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. 
Yeah, I mean, the credits are good, but you gotta take uh, cost of living into account. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. Yeah, I mean, and also, I guess the department sucks here. <coughs> What's their problem with you? Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. Uh-huh. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. I think may having augments would make you a better police officer. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Yeah. But hold on one sec. Let me steal a break from this guy. Okie doke. So, fill me in. What's going on? Um, an old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. Oh, uh, shoot, that's no good. Yeah. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. Oh. I am Hayden's personal wrong, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Yep, we do. Damn. All right, then. I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. Thanks. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can <clears throat> keep tabs on things for you. All right. Well, that's that's good. Thank you. Um. Er. Yeah, I was hoping we could keep this off the books. Yeah. Because Turing wants it to be clandestine. So. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Parallax. Yeah. And I know he was working on some very high profile projects for the company. Right. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. Uh -huh. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. Yep, that's why we came here. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. Yeah. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. Okay. Great. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. All right. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it would be better if she could go, but I think it's more reasonable to ask her to radio the guard. I just ask if she can go. No way, not gonna happen. Ah. Uh, if there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence. Okay. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Okay. Aw, oh, come on. What happened, Lexi? You used to play by your own rules. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. Oh. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. It's why I took this nice, stable job in the city. Hmm. Okay. 
I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. Well, whatever. Um, you know, I can handle it myself. Let's see. Been there. Okay, guess that one. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just let it go. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. We'll have a better shot at this if we work it for both ends. That's true. No. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it that way. Ah, come on. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense <coughs> right now. Okay. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. All right. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about rags, but I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone, much less a friend. All right, thanks. Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, all right? Okay. Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. Yeah. That's best I could do, Terry. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. <laughs> okay. Good to hear. What is it? to get my hands on Detective River's police identification badge. Oh, dang. You could be bad about that. I can outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its near-field data. We can't risk being too obvious. All right. Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you. Things everywhere. The humanity of it. If I could find a way to get access to her. Guy. Yes. Oh, okay. A broken, beat up Froyo stand. It was in the newspaper you read. Okay, today, right? Yeah. I deactivate the pump, stopping the water's flow. I said something. Take some water. Sure thing. Please wait. Oh. Thanks. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh-huh. I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. Oh, no. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Water levels. Not what have okay. I done? What have I done? Water levels. Not okay. They're not okay. The water levels are not okay. Okay. Oh, haha, I did it. That was the puzzle. Awesome. The little water robot ran into her and knocked her over, and there's her thing. And now I can grab it. Perfect. That's all I needed. Okay, so now what? Keep that under my Hey! What? What'd I do? I got an achievement, Cybercracker. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing? Hey, excuse me, Detective Rivers. 
I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward just, ROM just crashed look, into Just looking and at I it. I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the but... Scanning it for imperfections. Huh. Thanks. What hit me? You said it was a ROM? Yep. Yes. It seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart? Oh. Maybe. It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. Mm -hmm. Hey you, Froyo guy. Tag along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. Who? Me? But I've got to attend my stand. It's broken. Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, just go with her. And you too. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Keep your noses clean. All right. I'll be in touch. Okay. As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. I am more than just a walking search engine, you know. Dramatics aside, we should return to Hayden's apartment. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and head back to Hayden's apartment on the next episode. Um, so, see you next time, and...